Hey guys, happy motivation. Get your motivation. M -m 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 motivation. Where have you been? It's been so long. I missed you guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, back at it again. Here to give you some motivation as I'm motivating myself. Let's do it together, y'all. All right. So I'm going to ask you a question. What is the one thing that you fear the most? Take a moment. Think about it. What's the one thing that you fear the most? If you're like most of us, it's probably death. Death in every form. Death in yourself, your loved ones. Death of like losing your job, losing your money. Death of, death of losing possessions. Death of losing a relationship. Those type of things. And the fear really starts to paralyze us. And when it, when it paralyzes us, we start playing it safe. We start not living our life the way we truly desire or how we want to show up as ourselves because of this lingering fear of death. Fear of, of not fully loving someone totally because the fear of losing them or losing yourself feeling your heart ache, you know, that's death in itself. You don't want to feel that, you know, the fear of, of, of losing the job. So you, you, you play it safe with the job choices, um, fear of, um, you know, losing possessions. So you don't take risks. You just, you just play it safe. Um, so how do we get over that fear? Well, what happens if we start to think of it as accepting that we will die, accepting that it's going to happen instead of being afraid that it's going to happen, but knowing that it will happen because we all are going to die one day. And if we actually just allow ourselves to lean into that and know that, we will die one day. How can I enjoy this moment right now and savor it as it could be my last bite? But not taking it as like a victim, like, oh my God, if life takes me, but taking it as strength, like knowing that, okay, this is just limited time. How can I make the most out of that, out of this time that I'm here? How can I be fully authentic myself? Say the things that I want to say and not waiting for maybe tomorrow to say. Being who I want to be and not waiting till I turn a certain age to do a certain thing. Oh, I'm talking to myself. Being who, being who you want to be in that moment every day as it, it could be the last day. So facing your fears of death. Facing your fears of things could not be the same the next day. If we haven't learned anything from COVID, it is looking deaf in this face that why are we doing the things that really don't give us joy? Why are we not living our life to the fullest because what we're playing is safe? Because the ultimate thing is, is that we're afraid of death. And so therefore, what we do is we kill our own life. And not live our life because we're scared of living our life. Live your life to the fullest. Or try it. Ponder on it. See what that will feel like if you just allow yourself to accept that I could die. How would you live? Would you be doing the same thing? Would you be showing at the same job? Would you be in the relationship like you are? Or would you be totally and fully authentic yourself every single day? If we haven't learned anything from this COVID, is to live our life the fullest and being yourself. Even if that means to mess up, even if that means to fail, even if that means to, to, to trip up, live it to the fullest. Live your life to the fullest. Ponder on that. See how that feels.
All right, my name is Venus Washington. Hopefully this video was beneficial. Let's have a great rest of the day. Peace. Hey, Venus, what's up? Hey, Venus, what's up?